We've just uh, dealt with a, a number of issues in the numbers. How much of this is one-off uh, and how much of this is going to be something you're going to have to deal with for a while? Yeah, good morning from Germany. Um, on our um, first quarter results, um, I think the most important thing is that we could affirm um, our outlook for the full year. In that sense, I think uh, those things which you saw uh, kicking in the quarter uh, leading um, to a uh, reduction compared to prior year, um, I, I wouldn't uh, uh, look too much at that. Uh, we can confirm the full year uh, uh, results. We are fully on track uh, to deliver a stable operating profit on group level. And that will turn into an almost 50% increase in our net income on group level. Um, so I think from that side, um, all on track um, for the first quarter. Um, talk to me about cost cuts. Talk to me about debt reduction. Yeah, debt reduction. Uh, also here, uh, we made tangible progress. Uh, we released uh, on our annual results um, an, an overall $7 billion uh, a target to, to reduce our economic net debt. For the first quarter, we reached already $1.6 billion reduction in our net debt. And that is not only due to our capital increase, which we successfully executed uh, in March, but also uh, um, thanks to a very strong operating cash flow. Um, uh, which turned into a, a, a nice 300 million euro uh, free cash flow, uh, which helped our, our, our net debt. Um, so very positive uh, on the debt side. We also strengthened our balance sheet um, equity increased by 2 billion. Um, and with regard to our cost-cutting program, also here we are fully in track to deliver the targets which we set for, uh, for 2018, 400 million euro profit improvement um, by end of next year. Do you expect margins to be affected if the UK imposes some sort of a cap on energy prices? Uh, it's, uh, uh, the development in the UK uh, obviously is one which we uh, monitor uh, very closely. Um, interventions by politicians uh, uh, are uh, 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 we're very sensitive to that. Uh, I'd like to highlight that we see the UK market already today a very competitive market. In that sense, uh, uh, an overly aggressive regulation will also uh, only harm um, the market and, and, and customers at the end. I think it's too day at this point in time to speculate about any concrete impact which uh, uh, any regulation by any party uh, after the election may have. Um, but we are getting prepared, and I'd just like to stress, the UK is a competitive market, um, and I think political intervention is not needed uh, in order to, uh, to keep it working. Mark, what are you going to do about the stock? The sell side is all over the place with many reduces. There's a little bit of renewed enthusiasm recently. What is the catalyst to get the stock to perform? Uh, we will stay uh, fully focused on delivering on the targets which we set out. And I guess that's going to be the basis uh, uh, for the stock market to increasingly appreciate uh, our stock. It's uh, bringing down our leverage, as we said. Uh, we already made big progress there. It's strengthening our equity base uh, in order to, uh, to have a solid basis uh, for dividend payments uh, on a sustainable basis going on. Uh, so that our 50% uh, increase net profit will turn over time into uh, increasing dividends, as we announced uh, on our annual right. results call. What do you need from Mr. Draghi? What do you need within the rate environment to do the financial engineering necessary to right the ship? Look, overall, uh, uh, we are focusing on those things which we can steer, uh, but clearly the, the, uh, the very low interest rate environment uh, uh, is not helpful to us. Um, and effectively, with rising rates, we would actually be positively geared and hence benefit from that. Um, and so our hope is uh, uh, that uh, or actually we, we, we're not afraid of any increase in yields um, would actually be positively geared. Can I ask you a broader question? Um, Mr. Macron is incredibly positive on the European project. Um, be interesting to see uh, which leader we end ultimately end up with in Germany, but I think they're going to be pretty positive as well. When you look at the headlines uh, as they come out on the political front, do you have more optimism uh, that the European energy market might actually finally be moving in a direction that it should be, i.e. a single market uh, and decent investment into infrastructure? It's uh, the uh, we are in favour uh, of uh, of a unified, uh, uh, even more unified uh, European market. Uh, I think there needs a lot to be done on the CTS. Uh, I do see a two price scheme which currently does not uh, send the right incentives uh, uh, for energy efficiency. Um, and as we uh, we saw very positive signs last year already by the uh, EU to support the role of the distribution uh, system operators, where we are particularly strong in our portfolio. So I see a lot of positive signs. 
but I guess those signs really need to be executed now and put into concrete political, uh, uh, so into concrete legislation. Uh, that's what we are still missing. Um, so at this time, I think uh, we hear a lot of right voices, uh, but those ultimately really need to be uh, executed in, in proper legislation, which is currently still outstanding.